Do you want to recreate the charming art style of Deep Rock Galactic inside of Blender? Well I'm here to show you how I put this scene together and how you can use my process to achieve some pretty awesome results. Let's get right into it. Now evidently a core of this scene is the fluid simulation. I will talk about it a little bit but I don't plan on making this into a fluid simulation tutorial. Alright firstly we're going to talk about the low poly art style of Deep Rock Galactic. Now note that I specified this is an art style and not just an optimization tool, although it certainly does work both ways. But Deep Rock is definitely a game which is far from ugly. The low poly art style is charming and it looks pretty great. The best advice I can give to recreating this is to use reference. Now I would highly recommend the free software PureRef which is super easy to use and you can gather your reference here. You can see about me going through recreating a low poly barrel and a low poly mug. Collectively these models took me about 2 hours. The meshes themselves are very simple but I really did want to nail the proportions decently well and also I'm just not that fast of a modeler. I especially struggle with some parts of the cup and the cup is definitely far from perfect. Once you've gone through the process of creating a couple of models you'll be able to sort of freestyle your own ones. For instance the tap which the bear is coming out of is not an official model but I'd sort of gained insight into the style through recreating the other two models and so I was able to create something which seemed fairly fitting. Don't be intimidated by these models just get started, get a basic block out in and with these low poly models it's not actually much more than a basic block out that you need. It's great practice and I would highly recommend it. For lighting, similar to my other tutorials, I would recommend that you go for a 3 point lighting setup, but you can play pretty fast and loose with this. Just remember to focus on 2 or 3 main lights, and for a style like this, keep the colours fairly simple, and keep them pretty true to the game. There are lots of browns and greens in Deep Rock Galactic, and also some nice neons, which is why I've chucked in a pink one here. White is pretty inoffensive and you could just use it to light stuff in a neutral way, but I would highly recommend chucking in some green lighting. Green, red, brown and orange, it all works pretty well in my opinion with Deep Rock. These lights are all area lights, have got the strength cranked pretty high. We've also got the whole scene surrounded in a volumetric which helps to transmit the light really well. And it gives us this really nice atmosphere and it also kind of blocks out the background quite a lot. I think I could have afforded to leave the background slightly more clear but I just didn't want to steal too much focus away from the main subject. And also, to be honest, the background does not look that great, it's just a lot of barrels mainly. And also some funny easter eggs which I put around the place but they're just not really too visible. With Deep Rock I would highly recommend using neon signs and kind of motivated lighting to help light the scene. I have two whole tutorials on different sorts of neon signs if you guys are interested. You can see me showing them on screen right here. Just try and um, use game reference, try and capture that mood. That's what I'd recommend the most. If you haven't played the game, definitely play it, but I'm guessing if you want to recreate the style, you've probably played it. Focus on capturing the mood more than full accuracy, I would say. It's part of the reason why I added the voice lines in the background and the nice audio straight from Deep Rock. It helps add to that. Try and recreate some of the emotions that you feel when you play the game. I think that that's a great way to start. So the materials are actually very simple. Chucking some emissive stuff in there again, stuff with bloom like the neon signs and all of that, that's quite important. There's lots of neon and sort of emissive textures inside of Deep Rock and I'd highly recommend capturing that. There's a lot of wood and metal in Deep Rock and you can just capture this with some very simple principal shader setups and then for the most part you can just chuck in some built-in blender textures to control the roughness and normals and you can get some pretty convincing results. If you need something slightly more angular or techno looking for the game you can do this through combining a few different built-in blender nodes or you can just get your own kind of greeble or sci-fi texture off of some random website. But yeah lastly the uh, fluid simulation yeah that was um, quite a headache in a lot of ways. I'm gonna go ahead and link a very helpful basic fluid simulation tutorial in the description. This is tutorial will contain most of the knowledge that you will need to achieve this basic simulation. The bubbles and foam were sort of an added extra which I worked on separately. So if you guys want a full walkthrough just let me know in the comments and I'm prepared to do that. Getting accurate collisions and getting my bounding box to actually get big enough was quite a headache. I don't actually know quite how I fixed a lot of these issues but and it's still far from a perfect simulation. There's still some issues with collisions even though the objects are very simple and low poly. The main focus just being on the sort of fluid spilling out and the movement of that really does help to take away from the imperfections with this one. The whole thing was made in about a week's time. It was really fun. So really hope that you guys enjoyed, hope that you learned something, and good luck with recreating your own scenes from DRG. Really appreciate all the support lately, it's been great, I'm finally monetized which is awesome, and I've got donations coming in which is very cool, and I hope to deliver more cool stuff to you guys. And goodbye, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again.